baby a little her daddy. That's a baby. She she finna go to sleep. Can I get something for this Delta in, in training? Yeah. To these in training. Yes, honey. She don't give a dang. Okay. She sure don't. You heard it, right? <laughs> Well, y'all, we're waiting to see if they're going to take my stitches out. Okay, so as you know, I had a C-section and I got um, staples and I got uh, stitches. So they're trying to see if um, they're going to take the staples out. If I'm healed up enough, they'll take them out, which I hope I'm healed up, healed up enough to take them out because one, that I mean I'm healing good and two, the staples have been hurting me, I feel like. When I move different ways, I feel like I feel them. Since all this oil and stuff has gone down. Um, yeah. When I was in the hospital, when I had her, my blood pressure was low. My blood pressure was low before they released me, too. And she just checked my blood pressure, and it's good. And my temp good, so that's good news. That means stuff is working, stuff is happening. Um, they weighed me in. I've lost 10 pounds since dropping the baby. Granted, six of them pounds was the baby. So, yeah. I ain't going to tell y'all how much I weight, though, because that's embarrassing. Just know we going to drop them pounds. <laughs> Anyways, though, um, we're trying to get Daddy to take us on an excursion after this so we can get out the house because we ain't been out the house. So, who knows what he's going to come up with. Maybe go walk around somewhere or we go eat. Do something. He got paid today, so we're going to see. <laughs> 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 but anyways, yeah. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. Ooh. But anyways, yeah. So, welcome to 24 hours in the life with newborn. Okay, y'all. So we just left the appointment. We just pulled up to Jamaican cuisine. They did go ahead and uh, take out my staples. Which I must say, I feel way better now that the staples is out. Thank you, Jesus. Um, the true test will be, however, when I get home and like try to lay down and stuff to see how I feel. But we just pulled up at. Okay. Come on, baby. My daughter won't want to talk to y'all. Here you go. Okay. So we just pulled up to Jamaican cuisine. I have not had Jamaican cuisine since my first trimester of pregnancy because I had got some fried cabbage and the cabbage told me up y'all I didn't know you weren't supposed to eat cabbage when you when you pregnant but now we back I'm so excited finna give me some good jerk and everything else Oh, y'all, so we back. I'm back in the back seat. <laughs> the back seat chronicles. <laughs> I'm gonna ride in the back seat with my baby for at least a good month or two. Like, I don't really care. It's fine. It feel like I'm being chauffeured anyway. And then, uh, I got my feet. I got my feet propped up, you know what I'm saying? I be chilling. But anyways, daddy just went inside of Kroger's to get me some wild berry pop tarts. I've always loved pop tarts, right? Like my whole life. But then during my pregnancy, like I would crave them real bad. Like I can I can mess up a box of wild berry pop tarts, okay? And I've been wanting them now too. It's just like a good, quick little snack to eat, you know, while you're feeding or in the middle of the night, whatever. I can keep it on my diaper cart, and when I get hungry, got a nice little snack. But just left um, Jamaican cuisine. But anyways, ten out of ten across the board always. And uh, my fiance let me try some of his jerk, not jerk chicken. I had the jerk chicken. He had the oxtails. But yeah, he let me try some of his oxtails, y'all. It was so good. I ain't know oxtails taste like that. Now I see why people be eating oxtails. I might have to 
start tapping into it. And I had some fufu and a, a goosey, a goosey soup, which I had wanted to try during my pregnancy. But again, I'm telling y'all, when I was, when I say I was so constipated from eating Jamaican first trimester, I didn't want to try nothing else. I was like, okay, we just going to not eat, not eat that until after. So now I'm feeling good, you know, then got some staples out of my, out of my stuff. I might have to try it. But anyways, this is our last stop for today. And we're going to go back to the house because really it ain't too much you can go out and do with a newborn. I got the hiccups right now, y'all. But um, we are officially home. <sighs> and I need to straighten up a little bit. Um, I need to wash her bottles. I might even prep some bottles. She also likes being in these type of positions. She just wants to be where you are. So, low key, this could kind of skin the skin if she didn't have her little onesie on. But um, I just have on a bra underneath here, sports bra, whatever. But I do want to show y'all um, if y'all can see my score. I'm scared to lift my belly up, so I hope y'all can see my scar or whatever. I just kind of retaped it up, whatever, for now. And when it falls off, when the tape falls off, then the tape just falls off. But I am still in the little disposable diaper things. What? You got something you want to say? You upset? Look at her trying to lift her head. Like, who do you think you are? Just go down and go to sleep. Why you turn up for them people? So what it is is she's actually tired. Yawning as we speak. Tired. Okay, mama. I understand. <sighs> yeah, and instead of just going to sleep, you know, she's going to fight you for it. So now my next course of action is, um, we left, what was that, three something, it's six now. She might be hungry again. So I'm going to go fix her a bottle. I'm going to change her diaper, fix her a bottle, and try to put her back down to sleep. So mama can have some time to just, girl, what is it? What is it? Yeah, so let's go make a bottle, y'all. Okay, so I, being the clever beaver that I am, I know that I want some time to myself, y'all, and I know that she's very tired. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and change her diaper before I feed her and swaddle her. I tell them that I'm the sleaze, they telling me, okay, prove it I leave these bitches on bed, so now they know that they blew it I tell them I'm moving units, my videos, they gon' do it But I ain't got a lot, they really streaming my music I give bitches the kind, they fuck around and lose it, nah I am no wave, I only wave when I'm telling them bye Bitch, we ain't tryna ain't return or I done the cop When I'm around, bitch, you know you be cutting visa bye we wanna play with Nikki. Got the power, I can tell my niggas spray with 50. Come on, bitch, I just need a milli on my bitch. Mine is like 50. Mine is like 50. Sissy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 Look, me versus you.
All right, y'all, so after washing the bottles and making a few bottles and the baby is still down, I just decided to take the time to edit a few YouTube videos, write down and jot um, some upcoming dates in my planner and just get organized. I'm in Miami, I pull up on cruise ship. You in Miami for all the room shit. When I step a stampede, put on neck, can't breathe. Lucky charm, bang clean, diamond song. I see my eyes linking up. I'm like, what in the fuck? If you scared, then just say that ho enough is enough. They was just in my DMs, ain't no trust in these nuts. I'm about to call up diamond, bitch. No, if you I, 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 I just link it up. I'm like, what in the fuck? If you scared, then just say that ho enough is enough. They was just in my DMs, ain't no trust in these nuts. I'm about to call up diamond, bitch. No, if you bug, I'm like, ooh, child, cool down, too hot, too wild. I'm very thankful for my Erin Condren lifestyle planner. Here's the Erin Condren planner. I'm just showing you kind of my layout. Five more shots, every rate of splash. It's for me, so I gotta pop it. I'm sending on business, I'm ready about it. Bitch, me talk it. I'll be big in their pocket. Girl, tell me about it. I'm litty, I'm pretty, I'm winning the city. I'm shitting on bitches in every department. This ass is heavy, thick like peanut butter. Bitches, jelly about it. A lot of winning, a lot of scoring here. Yeah. Cardi Brian, Cardi Jordan here. Yeah. These bitches all losers. What they can't do is not important. Look, hey, I'm getting better and better. I do not see no competitors. You know the gang hit that pussy. Said it was drugging a dollar. Everybody can see me in fashion, can see me with money, these bitches is buggy. Either of these bitches is blind or I'm invisible, bitches. Well guys, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!